Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. And now uh, out on the old CCM again. I'm just looking at this sky up here. So I was heading that way. I'm now going to be going back that way, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to have to cut this ride a little bit short, but we'll jump on. Don't want to get caught out in the rain because also I haven't got the, the cover on the air filter either. There's a little cover that you put over the air filter to try and keep the, the moisture out, and uh, I don't have that on there, so I normally put it in my pocket, but I've got the other, my other jacket on today, so unfortunately I've, um, yeah, I've dropped a bit of a bollock on that, <laughs> and I don't want to get caught out. I don't mind getting caught out in the rain, but yeah, I don't want the bike sucking in loads of water in that air intake. So uh, yeah, another uh, the main reason for the video today, we're going to talk about you know reliability, the reliability and uh, sort of kind of maintenance of these CCM Ranger bikes. Uh, they all basically same engine, maintained. Really, they're pretty much the same. And uh, I, I, I personally, I, I, I really do think the key to uh, you know to keeping these bikes running well, nice, is, is you yeah you, know, you have to use them. I know they're very nice to look at and you know a lot of them are ornaments and they sit in, inside uh, lounges or dining rooms or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, hello sir. But personally I, I think I've done about a thousand miles on this bike and I have obviously had the first service done at the 600 mile mark. I think it was 600 mile anyway thereabouts. And uh, yeah, I, uh, other, than, other than that maintenance wise, I've adjusted, adjusted the chain, which is very easy to do, very easy. They, well, it didn't really need any major adjustment, but I just like tinkering anyway, but... So, um, I think as far as, uh, you know, reliability goes, uh, you do hear, and you do read, I do read of people having issues with them. I was reading an article the other day, or not an article, but, uh, rather a comment about someone who's got trouble with the gearbox and you know they're, they're struggling with the gearbox now to me uh, I've rode a lot of bikes uh, in the past I've probably been riding for well 25 plus years but and I would say that this gearbox on my model anyway uh, this is the only CCM I've ever rode is one of the best one of the smoothest gearboxes out there really that's that's what really did surprise me when I first jumped on this bike because I never test rode it was just how well it does go through the gears so it's just gentle with gentle with it as well and uh, the neutral issue I hear a lot of that as well and I'm kind of with you on that one a little bit but hang on a minute after the first service that that slight Problem. I didn't. I wouldn't even say it was a problem, but that that disappeared. So fresh oil in the bike. I don't know if there's a linkage, uh, you know, that can be adjusted somewhere on the line. Let me know in the comments if if you've had uh, issues. But I do read a lot of the a lot of the comments on uh, you know on online and that, and because uh, I am very curious. But I, I did have a problem a while back were before actually before it was serviced was um, this faster cylinder here ran dry of the, the mineral oil for the clutch so there was there's li little or none uh, clutch fluid in there which obviously affected oh, well but yeah that, that could be the issue that you know that's going to prevent you from you know you can have a real issue not being able to select your gears and all that but I think when he when he came, well I think I know when he came he did change my master cylinder as well. All this mud on the road here is horrendous. So he changed the master cylinder. He he, he uh, you know bled, bled all the clutch fluid, uh, fresh clutch fluid, bled it all through, and I've not had a problem since. You know uh, I could take that off and have a look and see what fluid is in there, but I I know you know that the clutch has got a lovely feel to it, and I've got the the aftermarket levers there as well so yeah they're, they're quite a way out actually so I want to get maximum you know uh, uh, bite with that clutch you see cold start there as well I've never really had to use that to be fair I never really had to use it it does seem to start on the button really 
first or second attempt but what I have been doing is priming it a little bit with the, the key fob so I'll just put the key fob on spin, spin it up get it you'll hear the fuel pump kick in and uh, turn it off obviously not don't start the bike but turn it off and then I'll, I'll, I'll uh, turn the ignition on again you'll hear that fuel pump that kind of works works for me a little bit and I you know after uh, you know not using the bike for a while I suppose they can be a pain to start sometimes I've not really had the issue but I don't know why this guy's doing uh, 25 mile an hour through here but can't really overtake on this stretch of road here but yeah we're out in, in, in Norfolk lovely countryside very fortunate to live out here uh, as we're coming up to all the graffiti on the on the barn there Rotoms. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, what I was going to tell you really about the bike, got a few little annoying things like uh, the side stand, stuff like that, but to be fair, my side stand, I think it doesn't spring up anyway properly. It's not dangling down, but it, the spring is fairly weak, so I have to physically, you know, when I stand the bike up, I have to physically, you know, move that up with my, fit, my foot to get out of the way, so I don't really want to stiff uh, uh, adjust it because that's, that's uh, uh, although it doesn't stay down as such as it will help it helps me anyway because I know it's there and what else there's been issues with rust on the frames still keep hearing about that and uh, I think they're slowly being sorted but yeah but, but as far as reliability goes I've got nothing negative to say really of a other than uh, the issue I had with the clutch and I was out on the bike at the time and I, I did nurse the bike home which is a bit of a pain really because you don't really want to be crunching your gears uh, you know just to just to get the bike home but yeah all in all very 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 happy really would I recommend buying one well it's very niche sort of uh, niche it's very uh, what's the word for it a very desired taste of a bike personally I, I i i quite enjoy everything about it really i like i like the it's got a good big following as well really online it draws a lot of attention as well if you park the bike up you generally it's a very good conversation starter I well mean, i can talk about bikes all day me but you can pull up somewhere just for five minutes or ten minutes and end up chatting you there sort of half an hour later talking about the bike people are very a lot of, a lot of people uh, members of the public they haven't actually seen one no oil leaks from the bike nothing to report there uh, brakes are very good this has got the Brembo twin dip twin disc twin uh, discs on the front as well very effective although I don't think you really need it so easy not to scare the sheep in the field <laughs> fueling yeah I didn't really buy the bike to worry about the fuel consumption but I think it's very good anyway nothing to worry about there so uh, lovely finish on the bike lovely paint finish I do need to give it a bit of a clean probably when I get home because all this mud on the road and, and what have you but Marzocchi forks suspension um, I have just done the I obviously checked the tire pressure it's quite regular before you know before I go out most ride outs and uh, the tyres were a little bit low that's one thing I will I would recommend making sure you check quite regularly really is your tyre pressures um, they were low and now since I put air in them which, which well they weren't majorly low but the bike does feel a bit a bit uh, harder on the old you know on the road yeah, just a leisurely ride out today which is really what this bike is you know made for these roads and yeah be interested to see what's sort of next in line with uh, the, the range of CCM I noticed as well that they're doing uh, I'm waffling on a bit now but I noticed they're doing uh, test rides and, and, and what, they're, they're kind of like you know, they've got like a test fleet of bikes that they're moving around the UK on like a kind of like a 
mobile test ride fleet of bikes, if you like. Which, which unfortunately, when 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 I was in the market for one of these, other than going up to Bolton, which is where these are made, the manufactured, sold, Bolton here in the UK is uh, the only real place where I can really go to ride one because no local dealers around here. Although I think that that is potentially on the cards that they may be moving some of these, you know, the, the brand, if you like, into uh, dealerships. But uh, I, I, I just find it's a very enjoyable boat to ride. Um, kind of slows me down a little bit as well from sport bike riding and the smell of fire. <coughs> oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Stinks, that does. I know he's burning there. Very smelly. Oh, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, it slows me down a little bit. I mean, many times I've been around these roads on my, you know, sport bikes, and and uh, yeah, you, you you just get to a point where you think, oh, do you know what? No, <laughs> no I'm not getting any younger either. So, <laughs> but yeah, if you are new to the channel, it'd be great to have you along. Much, you know, thanks for joining me today. But feel free, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I don't just do ride outs like this and, uh, you know, I do uh, general chatter and uh, do bike reviews, ride outs. So, uh, yeah, it would be great to have you along. She sounds absolutely wonderful when you're here on. Well, yeah, thanks for joining me and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. So, take care, see you soon.